take a look at the Olympic judging project. We're told that the purpose of the project is to practice using if structure. So we have a little bit of a clue there of how we're going to code this. We need to use if structures to create our solution. The project involves accepting entries for scores from seven judges between 0.0, .0 and 10.0. So that's a good clue there that we're going to be using floats rather than ints in our input and in our processing. So the goal is to gather these seven scores, find the lowest and the highest score and which countries those came from, and then find the sum of the remaining five. So we're going to exclude the high and the low score and find the average of those middle five judges. And that allows us to throw out high and low scores to hopefully remove any biases that might be there among the judges. Let's take a look at the code. I begin my code with several print statements to print out the title, the developer, and what the program does. And then I use a triple quote string so it maintains the formatting as far as carriage returns of that code. Now we want to get from the user the scores of seven different national judges. And we're going to use our input statement, request the score from each from each nation judge, and we're going to convert that to a float. Remember we wanted the input to be from 0.0, .0 to 10.0. That's going to give us our, our seven judges with the variables of China, France, Germany, Great Britain, Sweden, USA, and Zimbabwe. And if we call our output, we wanted to find the lowest score in which country it was from and the highest score in which country it was from. Now, if we only had one country, let's say we only had China, China would be the low score and the low country, and it'd be the high score and the high country. So we're gonna use that as our base. We're gonna start with China being both lowest and highest, and then compare the other countries to that low and high score and change the, ver the values that are in those variables of low, low and low country or high and high country. Before I do that, I'm gonna get a sum of all seven nations. So we're gonna find this, the sum of the middle five, but once we know the low and the high, we can deduct those scores from the sum of the seven, and that will give us the sum of the middle five, and then we just simply divide by five to get the average. So let's find the low score. So we have China as the low score. We're gonna compare France to low, and if France is less than low, we're gonna set low to the score of France and set low country to the string of France. Then we'll check Germany. If Germany is less than low, then we're gonna set low to Germany and then the low country to the string of Germany. Now notice I'm not comparing these to China. We want to maintain what's the low score, not comparing each nation to each other, because then we'd end up with a whole bunch of if structures. Notice also I'm not using an if else, because if I use an if else or an if elif here, then once it finds one true, it's going to ignore everything else. So I need to look at each country individually with what we call sequential if structures, so that every one of these if structures is executed. So we're going to do the same thing comparing Great Britain to low, Sweden to low, USA to low, and Zimbabwe to low. That will guarantee that out of those seven nations, I will find the lowest score and which country it's from. Let's do the high. Same way. We already set China to the high. So if France is greater than high, we're going to set the high score to France's score. And we'll set the high country to France. If Germany is greater than high, we'll set the high to Germany and the high country to the string of Germany. Now think about this Germany score here. I'm not comparing it to the score of France or to China per se. I'm comparing it to the score of high, which will be China or maybe France. When I get to Zimbabwe, this high score could be Germany's, France's, China's, Great Britain's, Sweden's, or the USA. So now I found the high score. Once we've gone through these six sequential if structures, I found the high score and the high country. Now I can take the average of that sum seven that was up here of our seven countries added together. Take the sum seven and subtract the low and subtract the high and divide by 5.0. And that's going to give me the average as a decimal. Then I just need output. So this all was my processing. So let's go back here. This was our input. This starting with low equals China down to average equals was our process. Now we need our output and the low score of placeholder zero was by the judge from placeholder one. I'm gonna format that as low and low country. So I'm gonna get the value of low put into zero and the value of low country put into placeholder one. Do the same thing for the high score. High score of placeholder zero was by the judge from placeholder one. Format 
high is going to go into zero. The value of high country goes into one. And then the average score of the middle five judges was, and here I want to format this for two decimal places. So my placeholder of zero has a colon and the format is 0.2F. That's going to give me a floating point value with two decimals. And then I also added a carriage return here. I want to have a blank line after, and all I'm formatting here is average. So average, AVG, that variable value is going to go into this placeholder. And let's watch our program run. So we'll say China was 7.6, France was 7.8, 7 7.4 from Germany, 7.2 from Great Britain, 7.5 from Sweden, United States gave a 7.9, and Zimbabwe gave a 7.7. .7. And I'm told that the low score is 7.2 from the Great Britain judge. That's correct. The high score is 7.9 from the United States judge. That's correct. And the average of the middle five judges was 7.6. So we have 7.6, 7.8, 7.4, 7.5 and 7.7. .7. If we added those five together and divided by five, we get 7.6. Now how I did this just to verify my results, I used China as my base and then this one is 0.2 above, this one's 0.2 below, this one's 0.1 below, and this one's 0.1 above. So I know that those five should have come out to 7.6. That's the Olympic Judging Project. If you just jumped into this video and haven't seen the prior videos to this, I invite you to check out my Python playlist of videos. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos that I create, you can click my picture up in the top right and subscribe to the channel.